Hi, Black Cat Demon here, and I finally finished my Ernie Urban NASCAR model. And here it is. This is the Kodak number no. 4 Oldsmobile. This came out in the early 90s. This kit is over 25 years old, and they don't look bad for its age. The main problems I had was because of the age, the body had a little bit of warpage down here under the windows. Um, the, draw, the back axle here was actually missing. And uh, due to age, the box was actually open at one point, so the decals were exposed to water. But with that being said, it didn't turn out to be a bad kit. Um, the decals, they were exposed to water. They had like a watermark. It was kind of brownish. It was really weird. Um, but it had dust and dirt on it and everything. I just wiped everything off. I sprayed the testers, decal sprays and everything on it. Um, I had no fog, no white foggy material or anything on my decals. The only problem I had with the decals was actually um, one of the Kodex. Um, because of the being watermarked and everything. It had a little bit of a um, crack in it, as far as like it was kind of crinkled up and everything. But when it was straightened out, it kind of cracked, and then I just pushed it back together, and it filled out nicely. But other than that, the decals look really cool. Um, another thing I did too was all the decals here on the front fenders. I took a little bit of a razor blade and I cut them so that way it would go around everything so it fits nicely. Um, the roll cage, the roll cage was a pain in the butt. The reason why it was a pain in the butt, it's a roll cage. So like I would do like step number four and the next day I would come in and start to work on it and go to, you know, put some more glue on something and messing with the roll cage. I would have a piece or two pop so I would have to go back through and re-glue certain areas. Um, the back axle was actually missing. The back axle was actually, um, is actually drill bits. I went to my local Menards, I bought one, uh, one eighteenth drill bits, the smallest ones you can buy. They were only like two bucks because of a two pack. Brought them home, cut them up, put them on the inside, they fit. I didn't have to do any drilling or anything to the tires. On the pillar post here, I just painted that flat black so that way this decal says O's and it uh, pops. Um, the rims, you had a choice between painting them all black or painting them chrome. And I actually like the way the rims look nowadays as far as the yellow lettering, the red ring around there, the black and everything. I think with the colors and everything, I think that pops with all the colors going on on this car. Um, another thing I thought was kind of cool was, um, you know, they got the fuel cell back here. It was supposed to be, be painted dark blue. I painted it red. I looked up pictures and I found pictures of uh, Rick Wilson's car from back in the day. So I kind of liked the way his fuel cell looked as far as the red and the black. So the red, the black, the chrome, everything pops on the fuel cell. So that looks pretty cool. Another thing is too, I didn't attach the trunk and I didn't attach um, the hood. Uh, the body, because of being kind of warped, it's tight. It actually locks on so I can actually pull the body off and I can actually show this car with uh, no body and just show the roll cage and everything. Pretty much like what I do with the snake bite, I can just take it off and everyone can see all the detail in it. My back window here was a solid piece. Um, what I did to that was add um, rivets on it. I went over them with a melatonin marker. Any excess that I got on there, I just pretty much used my fingernail and I just kind of scraped it off so that way it wasn't doing any damage to the plastic. Um, another thing that's cool too is all my lines look like they are gloss black, but what that actually is is I just went over them with marker before painting them. So I used a marker and I went over them with flat black and it turned out looking like it's gloss. On the front windshield, pretty much the same effect. Um, marker, flat black, it looks pretty cool. I also did the little rivets up here, I did the rivets up on the, the hood, the back trunk, the, uh, the fuel cap is painted as well. But it turned out to be a nice kit. Um, I would recommend this to anyone. Again, this is a NASCAR model that's over 25 years old. Another thing that's funny too is um, this is Irvin's Oldsmobile. He didn't really race Oldsmobile for that long. So there isn't really too many photos of the Oldsmobile racing car out there. Uh, the Another thing too is this body style that this model is is actually not what's on that box. It's actually a different setup to some degree. So it was kind of fun trying to find actual photos of this body style. And I found a couple where they were actually at a racetrack and it was race, you know, it was race day and all that good stuff. But other than that, it turned out to be a nice kit. Um, I just did the, you know, I painted up all the um, gauges and everything. Another thing that was really neat about this kit too was it actually came with the fuel can. And it came with a little jack. And the jack's kind of cool because it actually it moves so the jack goes up and down 
But all in all, it's a nice kit. I would recommend it to anyone that wants to build a NASCAR model. Um, another problem I had too was um, I did get some glue on the window. I didn't mean to do that. But nice kit. It came out really nice. It's a very solid model. So bye. Thanks for watching. Here's a couple photos of the build.